So now we will see how we can swap two numbers in JavaScript. So guys, basically the meaning of swap is whatever values are present in two variables, we want to interchange those values and print them. So guys, let us move to VS code over here and simply I'm going to create a new file in this case under the programs folder. So as you can see, we have this swap numbers.js file over here. Now guys, what we will do is let us say we define the two numbers that is a it is equal to 10 comma b it is equal to 20 over here. So this is the original value for a and b that is 10 and 20. So in this case, what we will do is simply we will provide the console.log statement and then we will say before swapping the value of a it is equal to simply we will say dollar and then inside the open and close curly braces we provide the variable a over here and then we provide the value of b as well so we provide end followed by b it is equal to again we have to make use of the variable so dollar symbol and inside the open and close curly braces we provide the b variable over here so guys in this way inside this particular string literal you can provide the values of the variables as well and along with that you can provide your supporting string as well now guys let me just save this file now and let us see what will be the output on the terminal we provide the node command followed by the name of the javascript file that is swap numbers.js file so when we press enter as you can see before swapping a it is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 that we have provided over here now guys we want to interchange both these numbers that a should be equal to 20 and b should be equal to 10 over here so there are two ways in order to achieve that first of all we can make use of the temporary variable in this case so over here I have commented out that we can make use of the temporary variable as the first way and the second way is to make use of the destructuring in JavaScript so guys we are going to check both these ways over here how we can achieve the interchanging of the two variables in JavaScript so first of all let us make use of the temporary variable that is temp in this case it is equal to first of all we provide the value of a to this temporary variable so simply we can provide the variable a over here which is having the value 10 right now it will be assigned to the temp variable and then simply what we will do is we will assign the value of b to this variable a as the next step so over here we provide a it is equal to b right now so guys basically we are storing this value that is 20 inside this variable a right now which was having 10 previously which is temporarily stored inside this temp variable and then guys in the end we can make use of the b variable and also the value that we had initially stored inside the temp variable we can copy this particular value to the b variable so let us provide this temp value over here so guys basically this statement will help us in order to get temp it is equal to 10 and then over here a equal to b will help us in order to assign the value of a variable as 20 right now because the value of b is 20 over here and then this assignment to b will help us in order to get the value from temp and the latest value of temp is 10 right now so guys over here we will provide the value of 10 to the b variable in this case guys remember that we are not declaring these variables that is a and b once again since we have already declared at the start of the program so this is very important not to make use of this let keyword once again while we are assigning the values to a and b over here so guys let us provide the console.log statement once again so simply i'm going to copy this line of code and instead of changing any of the content over here simply we will say after swapping and then the value of a and b will be displayed over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal once again so as you can see we have got before swapping a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and after swapping a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 so guys we are successfully able to interchange both these values that is a is equal to 20 now which was previously having the value of 10 and b is equal to 10 now which was previously having the value of 20 in this case so guys in this way we can simply use the temporary variable in order to interchange the values from both the variables now guys apart from this we can simply use the destructuring in javascript as well so let me just comment out these three lines of code over here and what we will do is simply by using one line of code over here we can interchange both these values of a and b so how do we do that so we provide open and close square brackets over here so guys over here simply we provide the variable that is a comma b over here 
and then on the right hand side which means we have to provide equal to operator and then once again we have to provide the open and close square brackets over here and the value of b that is 20 we wanted to assign it to the variable a over here so first of all we have to provide the variable that is b in this case followed by comma and then followed by the a value which will be assigned to the second variable over here that is b so guys this particular sequence is important right now that we have provided on the left hand side we have provided a and b and on the right hand side we need to decide what value should go to this variable that is a so the variable a should get the value of b over here so that is why the first parameter inside the open and close square brackets we have provided b in this case followed by the second parameter should be a because the value of a should go to this particular b variable and that is why this sequence is important based on which your interchanging will happen so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see before swapping it is a is 10 and b is 20 and after swapping a is 20 and b is 10 now guys what if you don't change this sequence over here you simply provide a and b so the value of a will be again stored inside this variable a and the b value will be again stored inside b which will not interchange the values so let us see what will be the output when we run this code once again over here you can see that a is 10 and 20 in both before and after swapping over here so this is very important that you follow the sequence b comma a over here in order to interchange both these values so as you can see a is 10 and b is 20 and after swapping a is 20 and b is 10. So guys you can use any of the ways over here either you can use the temporary variable in which case there will be an extra variable that you have to use and in order to avoid any of the extra variables or these extra lines of code over here simply you can make use of the destructuring in javascript in order to interchange two values of the variable. Now guys this might be a very important program as far as your interview questions are concerned. The interviewer might ask you in order to give one line of code in order to interchange the values of two variables so you should be knowing about this destructuring in javascript in order to answer the questions so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about how to generate random number in javascript so stay tuned.